kind of blah for spring break, but hey, still beautiful. It's warm. It's going to warm up today. It's supposed to be in mid 60s. Uh, girls are on spring break. Uh, well, kind of the whole world's on spring break, really, but uh, we haven't done an update, you know, so I thought I'd do an update around here. Been super busy with some other stuff. Things are kind of on pause right now. Look at these trees. Everything's starting to bloom. This is this is awesome. Like spring is here. But yeah, since we're uh, you know we're team human and we're doing everything we can to uh, help uh, control this chaos that is going on, um, I thought I'd do an update around around the house. You know, because I've done a lot of done a lot of stuff. There's been a lot of updates. A lot a lot of fun been going on. Oh, look at my peach tree. Yes. So excited for that one. It's like I wish you could just jumpstart these things and just get them going. This is a plum, plum tree. Plum is my favorite. If you ever followed anything back in uh, in California, uh, you know my love-hate relationship with the plum tree that I planted in the yard that uh, decided to finally bear fruit three years after planting it in uh, the week that we started to move. So cheers to that one. What else we got? We got bunch of berry bushes going in right here this whole area we got blueberry you got natural blackberry of course back there uh, so didn't have to worry about that the chicks are doing great they're starting to lay the chicks that we just got back in fall are already starting to lay which is what we wanted that's why we got them and kind of kept them during winter time not the most opportune time to get a chick uh, but uh, yeah they're laying and oh hey what's up I'll let you be they're doing work right now we'll come back to that one pig how you doing pig pig is just being a pig she's growing up too look at her huh what's up she's just doing what pigs do and that make a muddy mess so I built this little enclosure just to kind of give her more room and then we let her out let her run through the yard and stuff but rather than having her dig through the yard and it's called rooting when they take their little nose and snout and kind of tear up everything like she did over there rather than having her do that to to the yard I uh, figured container in here and let her like play around in her little place. Got a little rain, so it's definitely muddy, but it's nice when it dries out. She's got plenty, plenty to walk around and do stuff with. And we got the new chicks. Look at these girls. What's up, ladies? About seven, seven new chicks. So they're about two weeks old, two more weeks, and they'll be able to be uh, escorted outside into the coop with the rest of the ladies. And uh, hopefully by, you know, start of summer, we'll be getting some more eggs going. Is that bad? Not much. Just working out. Just working out. Can't go to the gym, so she brings the uh, the workout home. we got some fruit and veggies we're going to be putting in. We'll be working on this today. we got a bunch of seeds that we're going to start as well. These are all just regular vegetables. we got some peppers and... Just random stuff that we know we're going to eat. We know that the pigs are going to eat. We're trying to grow as much as we can here uh, that we can take right out of the garden for the pig. It's a little early to put stuff in uh, from what I've been told around here. Good Friday, Easter is your time when you want to put stuff in the ground. Just because the clay is so cold and it just it's not as warm as it should be yet. So we are waiting. That's why I'm going to keep everything inside and keep the seeds going and stuff until then. But for now, I did put some stuff over here in the garden box. This is all a raised box with potting soil and stuff. So it's got clay breaker in it. This is really good dirt. Um, so I'm not really too worried about it being too cold. We got some cherry tomatoes. We got romaine leaf lettuce. We got spinach going in. We got broccoli over here and a few onions going back. Strawberries are still there from last year. Uh, we'll see how they do if they come back. These have been taken off and I think it's because it is just the raised bed with the potting soil and whatnot. So it is uh, keeping itself warm and it's able to take off with these warm temperatures. But yeah, a lot of been going, lots been going on around here and we're just trying to do whatever we can anyways to be dependent on ourselves and on the, the land around us to, to make things happen. So not having to go to the store and buy stuff for the pigs is great uh, because we could just pick it right out of there and give it right to her. She's good to go. Um, and again, using it in our salads, whatever, uh, cooking dinners and all that good stuff. When chaos like this does happen, uh, you're not as dependent on uh, the other people, uh, say uh, the government or um, stores, um, kind of do your own thing, you know? We do. We doing, Carbon? You lay an egg. Okay, I'll, let's see. Oh, we got a new chick in there. Man, they're just swapping out left and right. Just taking turns. 
All right, you want to come run around? We'll run around. Run around. Why not? See ya. She just goes and does her little thing. She just runs this property. Little pig just runs the property. got the seeds in so we got squash we got habaneros we got carrots roma tomatoes okra green beans and bell peppers went a little bit bigger on the stuff i know we eat all the time bell peppers the roma tomatoes for salsa the green beans obviously dinner time uh there are seeds left over in the pack which once i till it over there and get uh these guys going and these planted i'm gonna drop seeds uh in the clay in that mix just to see how they grow. I'm kind of experimenting right now. Like this will be our first full season here in Tennessee and kind of see what the, the plants do. So had a vegetable garden towards the end of last year. Did great. Um, but again, that was raised bed with potting soil and all that good stuff. This is going to be, these will all be transplanted into the ground with clay breaker and potting soil in natural clay. Uh, so we'll see how they do. Uh, it's fun. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. Just seeing stuff start from a, a little seed or a bean and grow into something you can eat. And that's kind of cool with you grab anything out there anything anything you need to if you can't find the roma tomato seeds like aunt sherry said go buy a roma tomato take the seeds out plant them and then uh it'll sprout right up so it's kind of the fun part uh you know again going back to, to not having to depend on so many things kind of depend on ourselves we still got uh cow meat left over from that we bought a cow and we split it with the in-laws and we still have a good amount of our half cow left we still have flat iron steaks sirloin fillets ground beef has been big I think we will skip more roasts next time and do more ground beef because ground beef is delicious. It is amazing. It's the best ground beef I've ever had. Steaks are wonderful too. They're the best steaks. They cook less time. Uh, they come out juicier. Just It's just, it's natural. It's expected. So, uh, so we're gonna get these seeds pushed in, cover them with a little bit more fill. Good, got everybody planted and marked. So we know what's in there. I'm excited. There's nothing there now, but sure enough, poof, Little things are going to sprout, we're going to feed them, we're going to get them in the ground, and we'll be eating, hopefully. But now, now, I think we need to go over to Uncle Jeff's. Have some fun. Alright, we're over at, over at Uncle Jeff's. We're going to go, go play on that for a little bit. But first, y'all think we have a lot of chickens? I know it's not a lot of chickens, but let me show you, show me how many chicks are in here. There's so many. Now that is a lot of chickens. I used to think that little bulldozer was fun. When we first had it, we'd like drive, be driving around, a little thing, just push over stuff, you know, and just do its job until he got this. Ha! Woo oh, the Cat D7. This thing is a monster. Look at this thing. And this one drives it like no problem, huh? She's gonna be a heavy machine operator when she goes older. Make that money. Trying to smooth all this out so that way it's easy to mow. They're gonna seed for hay. This whole area goes all the way down there. It's got a lot of ruts in it and stuff, so this is going around and just it's really just doing lap after lap after lap, trying to break all this up and then flatten it out as best you can. So put in a couple laps for Uncle Jeff.
That's my girl right there. Everybody wants that boys and stuff. She has more stuff than boys will ever do. This is what it's all about. This is fun. Like this is why this is why I love having chicks. <gasps> Look at that. Bam.